Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16, where um, we've had something of a bittersweet episode last time, guys. So, uh, quite bitter at the start. We um, realized that the, um, the Imperials are really, really cracking down on not just the bearers, but people who are housing the bearers and resorting to in the night death squads via the black shields. So, uh, so yeah, quite uh, not, not good stuff there, quite bitter. On the sweet side, though, we have unlocked our Chocobo. We found our new, our, our, our old former Chocobo, Ambrosia, and now we have access to it. So we've been wanting this for quite a number of episodes now, so we finally do it. So let's check it out. Here we go. Look at that, ain't she a beaut? Ready, go. When you ride alone, let's go. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so we can rain, dismount, gallop. Let's gallop. Run like the wind. And this is pretty cool. This is pretty sweet now. This is all I wanted. Just the chocobo to ride. Is that too much to ask? Okay, enough chocobo riding. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and chocobo ride all the way back to base. Where's Gav? Okay, now uh, we kind of have to take a step back to finish off our other side quest, Hulk and Ball. Let's see if there's any more information. Anything on Gav? Uh, Sid's faithful scout. Now he's Clive's closest and most trusted allies. Yeah, so nothing there. Uh, the culling. Okay, nothing. Nothing new. With that dog, so we... Okay. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Okay. Well done. I, I like that. He calls that little fairy the Argo. Wonderful. For all you classicists out there, the Argo is the mythical ship built by Jason. He of the Argonauts. I believe it's. Uh, he he's receives helps building it to build it by uh, from the gods or something like that. Right? So uh, it's uh, it's a bit like the Excalibur of uh, ships. I hear there's trouble. Okay, so let's see what Gav's got to say. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? Yeah. <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. 
And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield of the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rossfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? <laughs> okay, that, uh, hang on. So what, we're going to... Drake's... Not as... Drake's wing or something like that there? Otto's counter is now open, okay. New facilities, okay here we go. Alliant reports, the patrons whisper, the hunt board. Alright, so now we can actually go on hunts. And what else? What are we waiting for indeed? Journey to Hawk's Cry Cliff. Okay, that we shall. Um, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You know I'm a sucker for what the blacksmith might be selling. So let's see. What is happening at the forge? God damn, they love their guy's blade here, don't they? That must be like the Carlsberg of all swords in this game. Uh, yeah, no, no, absolutely nothing. Anything else? No, carry on, sir, carry on. All right, I see a side quest downstairs, so we'll check that out. But I'd also like to check in I with hear there's trouble in uh, area. Wait, this way with Nectar. Maybe you can give us some info about these hunts. So Mather's all right. Yeah. Clive, there you are, Koopo. I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Nectar? I, th that's how he sounds, by the way. The matter is this, Koopo. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was... that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Koopo. I knew all that already. And that's why I need your help. 
As I need to remind you, Koopa, I am the mightiest of all the Moogles. No fiend of the forest or... God, he speaks so freaking fast. So I need you to slay them all, Koopa. Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Alastia are going through a lot already. Or with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Oh, thank you, Kupo. It's so good to have found someone who understands me, Kupo. I'll stay here then. Keep an eye on all the billets and get posted on the board. So if anything you need to know, Kupo, I'm your Moogle. Okay, well, yeah, let's view the hunt board. Hunting board reports of ter fiends terrorizing the countryside are posted in the hunt board in hopes that fearless heroes, such as Clive, will take it upon themselves to hunt down and slay the notorious marks. Okay, well, we've already slain one. Alright. C rank. The Angel of Death. Interesting. That's in Clairview Sanbreke. Uh, trader coming by the way of Karanovan met with a troop of curse breakers traveling in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead. His eyes wild and flickering. Though the curse breakers saw nothing untoward on their own journey through the pass, the sound of cackling laughter from the trees and ensured that they kept up a brisk pace. And then... Big Dragon. B rank. The Broken Hilt Rosaria. Wow. Are we gonna... Like, it says the rank, but... I mean, ideally a level... A level range would be better. Um, okay. So, Sunbreak and Rosaria. Good. Um, ask about hunts. Uh, yes, yeah, should we ask about hunts? See the curse breakers give every billet a rank of riskiness, Kupo? Uh, from this thing could kill you with a single swipe to a seven nation army couldn't scratch the thing's skin. But I'm sure you'll be fine, Kupo. Well, not sure, but that's one risk I'll be I'm willing, that's one risk I'm willing to take. Okay, uh, the hunting board. Precisely what you see before you, Koopo. Curse breakers note down the details of any particularly dangerous monsters they hear about or encounter in the course of their duties, Koopo. And post the billets here, Koopo, so that any stout soul who wishes to do the realm of service might set out to slaughter an ungodly horror or two, which is where you come in, Koopo. As for me, I have the most important duty of all, painting a big red cross over each and every one you cut down, Koopo, so that everyone can sleep at night knowing that the realm is a safer place. Alright, um... Let's ask about your adventures. Did I ever tell you about the time I visited the Great Continent, Kupo? I don't think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been, Kupo. <laughs> Crying out loud next to... Look at these wings. Do they look like the sort that might carry a Moogle across countless leagues of open sea? They call me Neck to the Bold, not Neck to the Stupid, Kupo. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, that's great. That is quality. That, that kind of... <laughs> Dry wit. That, that, that's what... Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. Okay, now how can we get down below? Round that way? That room's as ragged as locks. Yeah, let's try that. Get us some side quest action. Uh, so it is... Well, how do we get there from here? They're to the right, isn't it? I think it's alright to touch him. Wait, what's in... Off limits, that means you. Is it... Is this, <laughs> is this little kid done? <laughs> what? Chocobo, Chocobo, why can't you fly? What good are your wings if you can't reach the sky? Flap harder, says Bluebird. Flap harder, says Crow. Flap harder, or into the oven you go! Does, does, does this kid... Hang on, I've, I've got to make sure before I comment here. This is definitely... That's not a Chocobo, is it, guys? 
Is this kid touched or something? Does he know? Uh, that's a chicken. <laughs> what? what the hell? But what's more important, yeah, chickens can't fly either. So, well, I mean, yeah, they, they can't really fly, can they? They can hover. We're gonna get some chicken specialists in the audience. I mean, to swiftly correct me. Uh, what is here? Experimental record. Botanists. Oh, hang on. Got to double back a bit. There we go. Oh, this is the dude who's making trees, right? Cormac? Oh, no, it's not. See, I am. was hoping to speak to you. Is everything alright? Oh, yeah, it's just. well. As you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, why not? it will be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Aw, oh, Martell was alright. Look at that, she did it. She was the, uh, the bearer who we rescued. Who was, uh, tasked with, um... What 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 is it like? Not I don't want to say gene splicing, but um, finding a way to get the right so soil conditions to uh, to grow yeah to grow apples right to grow fruit. Like By the look of it, she did it. So well done. Uh, okay, so we're going out there. Okay, I want to stop by Karen's quickly. Make sure we are fully stocked up, because after this year we'll head straight out. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Uh, no, we want some portions. Uh, let's get four, good. You're rubbing me blind, you know. <laughs> and yeah, we don't we don't really need Come too many again. other items, do we? Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. No, so we are good like this. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. That broom's as ragged as. And now, let's hand these out. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Oh, well done. A gift from the backyard. For your service.
Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. <sighs> Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clive, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will you? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Uh, yeah. That I'm planning but I'd just like to see what is up Drive. here. Let's look at these alien reports. Here you go. What are they saying? Okay, so nothing there. So no quests available. Okay, what? I'm sure we'll learn about alien reports. What's this here? Oh, Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives. In addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation, the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Um, yeah, okay. Here's everything we've received, and everything promised. Completing side quests will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the Patron's Whisper in the Hideaway's Mess to view current renown level and accept any donations available. Okay, so this is... Look, look at this, guys. Another reason for us to be doing side quests. This is awesome. We've got 55 renown. That's brilliant. A spark of hope. That must be the uh, the title that we have. Talk of the Tea House. Um, oh, I see. So we accept the donation. Create contents. What do we get? We get Valley Matter. And I see then we get the, the loot contained therein. So talk of the tea house, your merry band of outlaws and its dashing deeds and uh, daring do do are all the talk amongst the ladies of the court. We have gathered together several items of worth that you might continue your gallantry. Well, that's cool. Uh, our order is, but, is, is one built on pride, but that does not mean we are too proud to give thanks where thanks is due. We may have failed Martha once, but never again. The blood axes. Oh, you gotta, gotta appreciate that. The notion will be uh, okay. Then when we get a uh, rating of eighty-five, we get a berserker ring. That could be cool. And we need to expand our renown further to unlock. Okay. So yes. Yeah, so this is even more reason, guys, to um. Best be of doing luck out there, Sid. Side quests. So Martha's all right. Mm. Wait, so is this really the fastest way? Yeah, I guess it is. The curse breakers send their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. A after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. Even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I... oh, I didn't do anything really, but... Thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. 
By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Okay, quest complete. The fruit of her labours. Nice. Nice little bit of Martel's apples for that. Okay, so the story wants us now to go to Journey to Hawk's Cry Cliff. Let's just see where that is on the old map. That is there. But they're not going to open the... Oh, well, we have to go there. We can't go anywhere else. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, let's uh, go straight there then. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We'll face it together, then. To the end. Is this to do with how Jill became Shiva? Dominant of Shiva and trusted confident uh, to the gather that continue. Yeah. We can see we know everything about dominance. That's fine. There is only ever one dominant for each icon. A new dominant only awakening after the previous dies. Some awaken at birth, while others are chosen later in life, but once one is chosen, one's life changes forever. Okay, so we can assume then that Jill became one later in life. The Iron Kingdom... Uh, wait, which what, which is their dominant? Do they have one? It, it just looks like they've got the crystal symbol. But that doesn't look... Yeah, I don't think they have a dominant, do they? I mean, they seem to have annexed Shiva and been using her. An archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm with its capital at Craig Loist, Loistgid. Man, he's pronounced these spellings. The mother crystal Drake's breath rises from the volcanic islands situated just within its borders and is worshipped as a god just as the state religion, the crystal and orthodox dictates. The same religion decrees the use of magic to be anathema and the bearers and dominants who use it to be sinful aberrations leading to greater discrimination than that suffered by their brethren on the mainland. Given that their stated desire to control all the mothers, the Ironblood's attitude to their nations is one of indelible antagonism. God damn, we, so basically we thought people didn't like bearers before. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Bloodlines. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. 
we visit as many as we can and hear their stories, starting with the village of Amber. I think that sounds reasonable. Should we chuck about it up? Come on. I mean, that's why he's here, right? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, wait, so we are going towards the right, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm, mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! I think we're loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? All right, I heard you the first time. Hmm. What does this merchant have? A long way from home, aren't a you? A Gaia blade. No surprises there. Uh, cobalt tassels increases the limit break generation amount. Yeah, hang on. Briar clamshell or crafting. Uh, no, nothing there. Where are you? Okay. Well, let's talk to the locals. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard. Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on a garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have okay, to give dollars like a sack of that. stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? I do not hundred. like the sound of that. Citizens turning on each other. Or potentially... Yeah. You seen them, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was the Black Shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? But what do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a Black Shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Hmm. Indeed, what are these firebrands? Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, 
then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pool. Then we shall be on our way. Mm -mm. That was uh, quite cut of These them. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Oh, could... Could they mean possibly Joshua? Like, he's got fire abilities. And if he's been spotted, then maybe they could mean him? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. So, further along this way... Yeah, okay. Further along this mountain pass. Let's chocobo up, and let's go! Run like the wind! This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Oh, uh, hello. A fallen hunter. Well, we should probably fight that, shouldn't we? Ever since the apology, uh, dismount. We've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? The mother crystals collapse? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. Okay, that's one. Get him. Stay Uh, left to right, let's go left, I mean right. See where it leads. More fallen bugs, huh? More, more fallen enemies. Okay, well, we'll probably find more of these things along this path, so we will deal with them in turn. But um, yeah, that's all for now, guys. We'll take a quick break here. When we get back, we will see what is at the bottom of this path. Um, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.